Hey guys, back again with the AVH X8500 from Pioneer. Sorry if I've been away for a while. It's just that I'm graduating soon and it's been busy. So this video I'm going to show you how I go about connecting my Samsung Galaxy Note 2 to my deck using AR Liberator. Just to show you how I have everything set up. I have my HDMI cable plugged in and a cell phone charger wired into here. This app, the AR Liberator, is still glitchy in a way, and I found that it works best if you plug in your phone first before you start your car to the adapter. Because when you start up your car and the deck boots up, it's going to try to initialize that Bluetooth connection the first try. So when you have it plugged in here, for some reason, it just works better for me. That's what I've noticed. So once it's in there, you'll set it, forget it, you go about turn it on your car so the app takes a while for it to actually initialize a Bluetooth connection so you could just wait off a little bit uh, right now it's just gonna be my iPod playing music when you feel like it's been long enough you can press the mode button and see where your phone's at, as in if it's connected or not. So as you can see, it's connected. The reason why is that my phone is never in landscape mode, except for when it's plugged into the AR Liberator. So since it's in landscape, it, it means it's working. And you can see that, you know, I'm trying to switch pages. This is the only page I got, but you can see that it's responding to my touch. Now, pretty much what this app does is that you have full control over your phone. It's as if you had your phone mounted to your dash. The only the benefit of this is that whatever noise that comes out of your phone is going to be played through your speakers. So you could go and play your music that's built into your phone. Let's play this one. Yeah, you go forward. Uh, you have full control. Um, you go and get your notification bar. You know, you got your notifications there. You turn off your Wi-Fi, whatever. Just as if your phone was just mounted here. It's 2 a.m. The lights off. The screen is um, not the best for these touch inputs. As you can see, like I have to really be precise and touch it and bring it down slowly, or most of the time I'll just miss it. So if I try to be quick, see that worked, but half the time it doesn't work. See, so you gotta be really smooth with it. The um, the buttons now, it's the same. Uh, you got your volume, your mute. This button now is, replaces your home button on your phone, so you go home. Uh, the left arrow is your back, and then your right arrow is your menu. These buttons, these two buttons are still glitchy. When you want to press back, you don't really go back. It doesn't really do anything. So, I just let it be. As you can see, I still have music playing. So, I'll just pause that and let that go. And, uh, some people reported that their navigation doesn't work. You know, they, they're having issues with GPS locking in. I don't have an issue at all with that. You know, mine works just fine. So, um, I don't know if it's just the ROM that people use when it's rooted or not. I use Jedi Master ROM. Or this time uh, I switched it. I'm actually using um, Jedi X14 right now. I just updated it. So, yeah, you press your home and it's just as if your phone's just mounted to your your dash and then you could switch to your iPod mode or switch to your USB mode or your radio mode whichever whichever one but as soon as you hit your your mode it goes straight back to your phone you don't need to reinitialize the connection or anything it's just there so as you can see I have some uh, videos loaded up into my SD card so, yeah, or I go back to my iPod, go back there, 
or go back to my phone. I got it right there. So pretty much now, you know, when you have this app and you connect it to your Android phone, it's totally worth the high price tag. You know, I, I love it when I'm on a drive. You know, I can check my Facebook, my Instagram, my Gmail. I can even text people right back and no problem. You know, I can make the phone calls. You know, my whole phone's there. Or if you don't want to do that, you're still connected through Bluetooth through the other end. So I still got my call, my contacts, call logs, and everything. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what else I could show you. You know, you just pretty much have your phone here. Um, one thing, though, is if you're trying to watch videos, my stock player, there's certain video players out there I haven't played with all of them yet. But what happens is that you lose out on the actual uh, menu bars. So like you could skip or go back or like slide your finger to fast forward through the video. You lose that. So like right now I'm touching the screen, nothing's happening, nothing's popping up. But you know, your volume works. Hey Dennis, have a seat. So everything still works. You know, the way I go about getting out of here, I just keep hitting the back button to see if it would actually go back. And as you can see, this is where it's like I say it's glitchy still. I can't go back. The way I go overcome that, I just go home. And then, yeah. So, pretty much, that's, that's about it. I don't know what else I could show you guys. Uh, you could see that my phone is charging as it's plugged in. And, um, yeah, N nothing much to it. Uh, one of the features I do like is that when you go to the settings on the actual deck mode, you can go and turn off or turn on the app sound mixing. What this does is that you could still play your, have your, your iPod or your radio playing the stuff in the background as you're in your phone mode. I find this beneficial because now you can listen to your iPod. You can turn up the volume. You can turn up your iPod or you can switch songs to your iPod, but you can still be doing like your navigation, you know, if you don't have music built into your phone. You know, this is a good way to go about, you know, doing navigation while you listen to your music on your iPod. So that's a pretty cool feature I found. And other than that, um, that's pretty much the deck really I really like it the price tag is not too bad and I'm happy with it uh, if any of you have any questions on certain things on how to work certain parts of the deck just let me know I'll try to put up a video comment you know I'm always trying to help you guys out you know if you guys are confused or stuck or what to buy or how to even get started you know contact me you know I like responding back and helping out people so so yeah, let me know if you have any issues. See you later.